Hi, I'm Todd from HowToBuildHotRods.com. Today we're going to be talking about pressure testing your coolant system. So, if you notice a leak underneath your hot rod, or every time you drive it, a little bit of coolant disappears, you've got an antifreeze leak somewhere. If you can't find it just by looking around the engine compartment, it might be necessary to go out, borrow a pressure tester so that you can pressure your cooling system up, and then see where the leak is coming from. Now, all cooling systems are under pressure for uh, one, one major reason, which is that increasing the pressure of their coolant increases the boiling point. So that keeps the coolant from boiling when the, the motor is heated up, you're driving around on a hot day, especially if your hot rod has a high horsepower motor, which generates a lot of heat. So if you don't have a friend um, that has a pressure tester, a lot of parts stores now rent or loan these tools out so that you can test your coolant system and, um, and see what part you need. Um, this, most, most of these uh, pressure testers are pretty simple. The one end looks just like a rad cap and then attached to the top is a hose where the, uh, the air pump pumps air into the coolant system. On the other end you've got an air pump with a gauge showing the different ranges that your coolant system might be pressured up to. Most, uh, most big block or uh, V8 type cooling systems are going to have a fairly high pressure, so maybe 10 to 15 PSI. If you look at your rad cap, it sometimes will say right on it um, what your cooling system is rated for. This rad cap is 16 pounds, so basically it's 16 PSI inside your, your radiator. So to use this device, it just goes on just like a regular rad cap. But before you start pumping it up, make sure that you've got your radiator full right to the top. If you've got a lot of air inside your radiator, uh, it's going to take you a little bit longer to pump it all up because it has to compress all that air before it actually compresses a lot of the cooling system. So just screw it on like a regular rad cap and then you're ready to start pumping. Okay, now it's up near the high range that we want it to be in, which is about 15 to 17 in the black area right there. So now we should be able to see, um, or possibly even hear, where the antifreeze is leaking out of. So let's take a look. Bingo. So this is, this is probably a pretty, pretty extreme leak. You can see it right there coming out of the uh, coming out from underneath the thermostat housing so not a lot not, not a lot of leaks are going to be that apparent but um, in this case it's an easy fix so we can go ahead and unpressure the coolant system repair the leak and then pressure it up again just to make sure there's there's no other leaks anywhere else